Hello and welcome to The Rev, where we take a look at films, games, music and tech and give you real opinions on the latest releases. I'm Michelle. And I'm Lachlan. And coming up on today's show... We take a look at the latest from the Star Wars franchise with the release of Outlaws. Sabrina Carpenter is storming the UK singing charts right now, holding all top three spots at the beginning of September. We get a taste of her latest single. And finally, oh, and finally, 36 years after its original release, Beast Juice making a comeback with a sequel to the original film, delving the classics, or are film and TV companies running out of ideas? We take a look. For a franchise that started a long time ago in a galaxy. Please don't finish that. We get the pun. Star Wars may have begun back in 1977, but it has rarely been out of the public eye since and has seemingly gone from strength to strength since being brought, bought out by Disney for $4 billion back in 2012. The latest iteration of the franchise is Star Wars Outlaws, which is apparently the first open world Star Wars game to be released and has arrived on multiple platforms this August. Let's take a look at this trailer. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. This is your one shot. A safe filled with 157 million credits. And I can get you inside. Get in. How about getting out? This job? It's a death wish. Your lives are over. Your family, friends, gone. There's no part in the galaxy you can hide. You want to live? Get in with the underworld's most dangerous syndicates. <laughs> and pull off the greatest heist the Outer Rim has ever seen. I'm in. So obviously this is a new game, yes. um, can you tell our audience a little bit about what this game is, what it requires, and yeah. Um, I mean obviously it's, it's a Star Wars game, um, like all Star Wars games, it, it's a game where you have good guys and you have bad guys, and the good guys are trying to stop the bad guys, or the bad guys are trying to stop the good guys from doing something mm. that doesn't want to be happened or shouldn't happen. Mm. Um, the thing about this game is that it is meant to be an open world game. However, a lot of the community feels like it's less open world and is more just another level game because the worlds are so small compared to what you would imagine an open world like GTA 5 where you have a whole city where you can run around or Red Dead where you have an entire we Wild West. Mm. Um, this you know, causes issues with some people because some people did want a game where they could just be a Star Wars person and run around and you know, kill, yeah, <laughs> kill stormtroopers. You know, yeah. like. I mean, do you do you think it's better as an open world game or? I think it, it works as an as an open world game. It works to be played and it is a playable game. It's not a bad game storyline wise. It's mm -hmm. not a bad game in general, but it is a game that is being hyped up to be an open world game and feels like it's a bit more of a boxed in type mm, game. Mm. And finally, like, who do you think this is like targeted to? Um, I mean, what's it called? Like, it's targeted at most people, but if you've seen Star Wars, you'll want to play it. I mean, it's crazy. Sabrina Carpenter, like Brittany and Miley, before her, may have started out as another Disney princess but she also seems to be following the same pattern of trying to shed that image through more adult and often shocking content. This does seem to be the key to success. In the first week of September, Sabrina held all top three spots in the UK charts, definitely helped by the TikTok trends over the summer with her Please 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 track. Let's take a look at her latest number one, Taste. Oh, I leave quite an impression Five feet to be exact You're wondering why I have his clothes When missing my body's where they're at Now I'm gone but you're still laying Next to me, one degree of separation I put your back together And if that's true You'll just have to taste me when you 
Um, that's actually about as much as we can show because there's too much violence and gore that follows. Um, yeah, what, what is this song about? Um, so this is about two women uh, that are essentially fighting over a man kind of like um, in this generation but rather than doing it like cyberbullying and online they're doing it physically which includes a lot of gore and a lot of bloody and bloodshed. Um, there is a little bit of a debate and a problem that the fact that she both Jenna Ortega and Sabrina Carpenter have quite uh, a low young audience but they have a big audience which are a lot of them very young um, so a lot of people are worried that they're going to go and watch this video and obviously it's very graphic. Sorry. Do you feel like the video should be age restricted towards children? I mean they do have a warning however these days a lot of young children and a lot of teenagers do get around all these blocks and, and all these restrictions and it can be quite disturbing for a lot of people and yeah. I mean what, what's, what's your opinion on the song? Uh, my myself, I don't really like the song. I'm not a huge fan of Sabrina Carpenter, but however, she has come a lot to fame these days with her "Please, Please, Please," um, her "Expresso," her obviously this uh, song that she has now, and especially with Je Jenna Ortega, who had a Wednesday series on Netflix. She's been included into this series, and I mean into this music video, which obviously you will have a lot of views these days. Yeah. I so mean. yeah. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. But Maybe don't, just in case. The 80s classic is running with a good number of the original cast plus some new faces. Let's take a look at the trailer. A trickster demon terrorized our entire family and tried to force me to marry him. I believed he was gone forever until you found this in the attic. Ew. Who's Beetlejuice? Don't ever say that name. Beetlejuice. No, Astrid! I am serious! If you say his name three times, he will appear. Beetlejuice. The juice is loose. I'm gonna make you so happy. The living. The dead. Where is Beetlejuice? Where's Beetlejuice? Um, yeah, so... This is a new uh, Beetlejuice film, obviously. Yes. Uh, it's obviously 2024 film. Yeah. I'm not quite sure when the first one was made. I think it came out in 1988. Yeah, so uh, that's around... 36 years old. 36, year, 36 years old. Do you think there's a reason they did that? Uh, I, I don't know if there was a reason. I didn't. I, in all my research, I haven't found any re reason for it. But I think it is. it has made a nice gap for them, and especially considering you had... Um, Tim Burton who directed the first one mm. and Tim Burton who also directed the second one it sort of shows that even though it's been so long he hasn't lost his touch where he's done <laughs> you know um, that movie for Christmas type things yeah. um, and like that that was what normally gets Tim Burton confused with uh, the director for Coraline mm. um, because it is a similar sort of style and it keeps the same sort of like you know like it's it's funny but also in like a scary way yeah do you think um, do you have you seen it yet I haven't Perhaps. seen Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Do you plan? Yet. I, I would love to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Definitely, when I can. Definitely, yeah. I mean, um, it's made a huge, like, so much money, the first one and the yeah. second one. And I think that the people, the teenagers that watched it in 19, not quite sure 1988. when, 1988, yes. are going to have uh, absolute fun watching it in 2024 oh, no, I mean, now, with their what? kids probably as yeah. well. Yeah, oh no, because well. they'll, they'll be like, oh no, we have to watch this, we have to watch this, and that'll hopefully, you know, force 
it'll it'll re spark the um, need for it. You know, what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to watching. I'm not watched it yet. Have you, you, oh, okay, so you're also gonna watch it. Okay, maybe, maybe we should watch it. You know, sometime similar. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. Well, that is about all we have time for today. We hope we have given you some insight into what to watch, listen to, and play. I've been Michelle. And I've been fabulous. See you next time on the, the Rev. Rev.